everyone, this is Elikit and this is our second Let's Play the Architect video and actually today we're not going to be really playing the Architect but I will be showing you what's coming up in the patch that will be released at the beginning of next week and of course the first thing I want to show you is the new districts that we added so you can see here they are along the Champs-Elysees and they have some very cool buildings like the Grand Palais and the Petit Palais uh, you could see the Arc de Triomphe also. Um, this is a pretty large area that has just been added, as promised in the roadmap. Now, what we've improved also is video effects. And you can see here, for example, the chimneys are smoking now. And we added a few other things, some that I'm going to show you now and some that I will let you discover as you play once you've updated uh, the game. Now, one of the things we wanted to improve was Plaza generation because uh, most of you were not satisfied and we were not satisfied with how plazas were generated. So first, let me explain to you how the presets work. Um, when you have a plot like this, the Plaza generator will use the space to find the largest rectangle and use this place to make a Plaza and will fill all what's around so now you can see it's going to be filled with grass because it looks better and we also added a few uh, presets so you can have more diversity and try to find something that you like but the first thing I wanted to point out is one of the video effects we added is pedestrians on the plaza so now every time you build a plaza you will have people walking around and it gives I think a nice addition a little more livelihood um, to uh, the city that you are building. Now, we also improved the park presets. Um, that's another thing that we weren't entirely satisfied with. And it, the generation of the park is pretty much the same as the plaza. So you have zones that will be used by the generator to define what to put in there. So the larger you make your park, the better it's going to look. If you try to make one park with several plots, the generation will not be as cool. So these, for example, look good because it's a big, large plot. Uh, we improved the generation, we put more objects and um, the zones are better defined now and obviously we added some kind of cool stuff like urban farms for example, this looks really cool. Uh, we also added um, the fun fair. Uh, I think personally it looks very very good. Um, this will all be eventually animated obviously. Once again, looks better when you use these presets on a very large area. See how it looks cool? Right in the middle of Paris. Um, and you even get the fireworks for this. Now, this is for the parks and plaza presets. And um, you'll discover all the different new presets that we've put. But um, going back to um, the plaza now, uh, that I designed earlier. Um, you have like empty areas around the plaza and we have designed a new feature, a new tool to help you work on these places. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, redraw exactly the rectangle I want to have the plaza, the preset of the plaza inside. So in the plot editor, I can just like draw this rectangle from this edge I'm using the 90 right angle uh, on those. This will do. So this will be my plaza preset. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all the outer plots in several smaller areas um, that I will be able to work on. So for example, I draw a little path here and then I can divide this into several smaller surfaces that I can use. So first here, I will uh, have, for example, a um, all green area that will be a good separation between the plaza and the rest of uh, the area. So the tool is right down here. It's called Terrain. And I can start by choosing a ground texture. And then I can add an object. 
for the moment it's one object and it can be a tree for example it can be this kind of tree and i can re click as many times as i want to until i have the correct setting that i want for the um, the trees right here i said i would uh, draw some kind of a path so i can put um, tile or sand sand looks kind of cool right here i will have a tile at the ground and picnic tables why not and here i can have uh, grass and just grass um, let me see, or I could add maybe um, slides, that's good. And here I will have another path that I will design in the plot editor right here and there and like this. And now I can merge the two of them together. Let's put back the tile or the sand let's see the sand sand is cool and here I could I could have a big green area and these kind of trees here is the plaza preset uh, the preset that I want to use and you see that it fits better now it has a good looking it's really better inserted and there's one last area that could be like a public space and now you can see that the preset is better included in the whole area because I use this terrain tool to design the block and not just like one big square in the middle of nothing. Here it is. You can see the pedestrians are back. It looks lively. We still have some improvement to make, especially on the object generation, and that will be something will work. But Another thing that I wanted to show you in the drawing board is a few options that we added. Um, let me put some light here. If I build, let's say, this building here, I will use, uh, let's see, something like Hossman here. I can have some, it, yeah, that looks kind of cool. And now, so what we did, let's set up the light. And what we did here, if I add some um, floors, you can see here what we call the blind facades. So this is something that actually exists, but you can now deactivate the option so the windows will go down. You can deactivate roof objects. There are a lot of new textures for the roof also. And if you have storefronts, you can also deactivate them and last thing um, you can have access now to your recent recently used designs so you don't have to browse the whole list all right that's all for today i hope you liked it uh, feel free to ask your questions follow us on our different social networks join us for the conversation uh, please leave a review if you like the game it will always be appreciated hope you have fun and we'll speak soon.